Michel Barnier this morning complained that he has only had nine months to negotiate a Brexit trade deal as talks go into extra time. The Brussels diplomat said usually the European Union would spend more than five years working up trade treaties. Speaking ahead of a meeting with EU 27 ambassadors, Mr. Barnier told reporters, we've only been negotiating for nine months, we've needed at least five years for all the previous agreements, we are going to give every chance to this agreement, which is still possible. A good, balanced agreement. That means two conditions which Arendt met yet. Free and fair competition, and an agreement which guarantees reciprocal access to markets and waters. And it's on these points that we haven't found the right balance with the British. So we keep working. In a private Brussels meeting, he told EU envoys that there had been some limited progress in the trade talks over the weekend. Mr. Barnier said both sides had moved closer together on a plan to enforce a future deal and ensure there are ways to settle a trade dispute. But the Frenchman conceded the EU and UK were still far apart on the main sticking points of fishing quotas and controls over state subsidies for industry. After the meeting, Mr. Barnier tweeted, It is our responsibility to give the talks every chance of success. Never before has such a comprehensive agreement, trade, energy, fisheries, transport, police and judicial cooperation, etc., been negotiated so transparently and in such little time. The next few days are important, if a EU-UK deal is to be in place in January 1, 2021. Fair competition, and a sustainable solution for our fishermen and women, are key to reaching a deal. An EU diplomat hinted a deal could be reached as early as this week if Mr. Barnier and UK Brexit envoy Lord Frost can reach an agreement over fisheries. The insider said, there might now be a narrow path to an agreement visible, if negotiators can clear the remaining hurdles in the next few days. There has been some progress in the negotiations over the last few days, but, sometimes substantial, gaps still need to be bridged in important areas like fisheries, governance and level playing field. The EU will continue negotiations with its constructive, calm and result-oriented approach. Success depends on whether London also wants a fair deal and is ready to accept the inherent trade-offs.